hyped up why is Cam versus Shy. We have Nah versus Cassante. Not exactly the most riveting matchup. It's okay, I'm sure Ooh, this on. 2v2 is going to be very spicy when it does come to the mid-game skirmishes, but this is what patch 13.1 does to our carry players. You're forever uh, assigned to Cassante and Nar Judy. One matchup. True. Again, the Shy's Nar, he's most played in his history as Gideon comes in. Dub with the flash in chain corruption. IG straight to the pounds. First blood over to the newbie team as they get away with a cocoon. Well, Gideon now heading up to the top side. Herald's up in about 10 seconds. And Wink has already moved over, Kitty. This is priority and a half of Xiaohu. He's going to get some information here without getting spotted out himself. Wink is already here. I mean, the Jin is about how the combo from Karsa and Chris is fatal in this game. Oh, blind chain corruption. They know he's in there. Explosive cast gets him out. The blue buff goes to Wink, but Gideon dies. Weibo just never quit on a play. Visiting his home as the door was unlocked. Chance corruption does connect on the edge. That oh hitbox my God, crazy, but this logic cast may have killed Casta. Beautiful ulti coming through with Gideon's dying breath. As Casta takes one more. All he needs to die. Dub doesn't land. No Casta alive. He skirts out death and baits IG into their demise. The Gideon still has that flash available, but he just wasn't able to escape the CC from Weibo and Karsa living on 1 HP. I mean, this Soraka pick is doing so much for this game one. Everyone, you just had to see Karsa proactive with these ultimates. The first tier one tower does go down and it opens up the map a lot more. Come on, just auto it! It's a lure. They want to fight. They want IG to fight them under the turret that doesn't exist. And the... I think Wink is just automatically going mid and he's a bit late to this tempo where this tier one tower just falls. God, another one for Weibo. Again, Kitty, I'll be honest. I know, I know my Mandarin's hot garbage, but it's, it's so difficult. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, I think B-O is just a pretty different pronunciation when it comes to English and Chinese, because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people say Weibo, but in Chinese, Weibo. Great type and Weibo! Oh, bounce house indeed. Up in with the repel, he's alive again. Kasa is the survival expert. They even get a kill off the back of it as here comes Wyatt's cam though on the Shao who knocks him up. He flashes away the curtain call. Last shot doesn't connect. Great movement from Wyatt's cam. The TP beautiful as well. Gets the knockback on the Shao who so dangerous oh though. Face getting in as they get a kill. Arn jumps on in to find Chris, but now has to get on out as Kasa's rejoined back in. Have a rough time of it. There's 4,000 now to lead the shy. Refusing to elaborate with his team, just sits in the sideline, picks up that inner turret. 600 gold for him. He is 40 CS up. He is, he's coasting, man. This guy, he's got a yacht sitting on it. Just doesn't need to talk to anyone. Yeah, the Shy's level 14 while Wink is sitting on level 7. I mean, double the X. Shy is. Well, Kitty. With that turret going down, we're getting close to 5k. This is the most calm Weibo game I've ever seen. And yeah. it's crazy because against IG, I thought we'd be scrapping. Like we're in a scondom duck. He's been denied multiple times. It's Weibo in the choke. Explosive cast is good onto Chris. And they get him in scondom duck. Flashed over. They got him. Chris is now dead. Okay, but look at the poke in return. You think you get the support and then Weibo re-engaged. They can Don't not, run. as Wink is a support ready to die, just like his counterpart, Explosive Guard in, and Xiaohu blows him up. That's a solo kill, as they need to run. The Shy finally joined in, give him a kill. He deserves a look at him go, just ordering for the win. Xiaohu denies him, and IG outclass is the perfect definition. This fourth dragon also potentially getting contested. I mean, this game is just... One from the 15 minute mark, the amount of lead that Weibo was able to generate from just laning, I mean, just look at the CS, all up by at least... Now, this is going to be a hard ask, Arn is our front lighting card, so missing the cocoon, good dodge away, shock blast as well, but Arn's already zoned out at half HP, Wink annihilated, he's just dead, I, I blinked, I winked, and I missed it. And I'm flinking hysterics because this game is looking impossible for IG to win. I mean, that entire dragon fight, Light was just challenging. Double, double stun! 
double kill. Okay, time for the shy with an ocean soul to do the dirty work. Under turret, he needs to get out of there. The all out though from Wyatt Cam Carpenter is the dying. job. As the shy hasn't died, ladies and gentlemen, a fairly new experience over the wall. Can he hop? He's gonna he go does for anyway. It. Well, the shy props to this man. He has died 1,700 times in his career, 1,491 kills. This game, at least, he's going to catch up and get closer to the 200 gap. This is what happens when you leave the shy 0 0 0 on this now most played champion in his entire career history and just completely dominates these team fights once he joins in. I mean, he was just zoning out at least. Coming annihilate the rest of them, even getting in with a bit of health under his belt. Nothing stops Xiaohu right now as the Shy is just running at them. Level 18 now as well. The whole team there. He's going to go into Maganar. No. He's denied. He's dead. At least they killed the Shy, but at what cost with a triple kill forward? Look at the man Penta, go. We haven't talked about him all it. game. But with a Quadra going over, Light Yagami, write it down. He is Kira with a Panther in his name. What a massive lad from An. He just says, come here and get it, big boy. You deserved it. And Light gets out of this game one with a pentakill and a perfect game from Wave Warriors. They dominated IG for this series. This early game, but of course, Lucian and Nami, their weakness is at level one. If An and Wink are able to get their poke down before Karsa comes to this ball lane, the 3v3 is looking a little bit shaky for Wave Warriors. Yeah, if it comes out onto Dove for a trade, Xiaohu's just dead, but they're not going to wait for it. Instead, all in, he Ooh, flushed away. Scout of the Week misses. They got him. Gideon helps get Dove first blood. A bit of surprise from Xiaohu. But spotted on the water is good as here's a response. Cast straight in on top of Gideon. The extended jewel not going to be given over as Gideon goes invisible, but he might have to burn a summoner that he doesn't have. He burnt the flash before, and Gideon's punished quick by Weibo as Xiaohu's moving down. Dub now with the, the ulti flash. flashes on in. First pass already out. Wants to get in over the wall, but it's too late. Weibo, but IG being the scaling team. Later objectives means Elder's not going to come until 30-something minutes if it gets to that. And IG will be confident at that point if the game's not too far gone, so... Pacing good so far. There might be a... to fight, but there is going to be a fight in this mid lane. And look how deep he goes well with a flash away. Carter's in no man's land, has to get himself out, but over the wall, Gideon just flashed into waiting arms. Carter gets a free kill, and Wick's gonna die to the fist of Vibe. As powerful as she is in Arcane, that's about the front. Do they need him? Well, Gideon, his Corrin died, and now unleashed power. Gideon's just, yep, Xiaohu's trying to get it with an auto. Carter was being nice, but. Eventually, he has to take it away. You're in a five versus four, and Kitty. Flash available as well. He can look for a pick in this mid lane. Okay, now Arn in trouble. The flash forward, the Shy not getting anything with his own as Arn tried to skirt it forward onto the Shy, getting a proc movement. But IG don't give them the chance. And at the very least, Kitty, although they lose the fight, YS Cam's gonna get a turret and he needs the goal. So Shy has decided to join in on the fight and IG's bowling defused that entire ingot. You can see if IG doesn't have any defensive spells. I mean, he does have the Baron and Immortal Shield Bow, but Xiaohu is so, so fed. Scatter the weak lands and someone's dead. He flashes ulties all in for Arn. Kasa ults the wrong person, but maybe waiting for a vault breaker as he's blocked by Gideon. Kasa just runs it a bit as now here comes Dub on Xiaohu. Misses the five point strike, but one more hit and a smite to do it. Dub helps him out as IG punish Weibo's greediness. Hysterics, I see a light for IG. I see hope. Karsa going in, ulting the wrong person, protected by the jungle in support of IG, while Dub was getting onto the backline of a Weibo, and Xiaohu falls as a result of that as well, getting a tier one tower in that bottom lane. But look at this engage from Vision and look for those picks, or potentially even that Weibo will make those mistakes again by engaging. All right, Wise Cam, Wink, Dub going in, all in. Can he steal it, Dub? Not to the air, Carter. You need this smite, and he gets it. He's ulted on the back line as light flashes over, meets him there. IG, all in for the Hail Jeff, and as the knockup comes through, they're all dead. Gideon trying his heart Ooh, out, but he's taken down as well. Help it on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Zeri does this. Zeri does this every team. But it does look like JDG top esports hell, even TT at this point. 
and Waver are just too much for this team. You know, we're talking about them being a playoff team, which is still fair in some opinion, but they just can't get past this top echelon of the league. Sometimes life gives you lemons and you have to make lemonade and that was Arn's angle to flash over True. and make a quadruple oh, happen. Look at the, the game shy. save. Wyatt's game barely lives on one HP. The Baron means are swarming towards your base. Dunk trying to get something on the other side of the map, but the amount of force the shy end. has flash available. Dove needs to back. He doesn't have TP. That's a very slow Akali, and everyone's here as Casa's looking to end it. I mean, the inhibitor's going to go down. Dove, take your time, brother. But that that one person at Mac is ordering so slowly, and like, Dove? man, none of the machines are available. Please get on with your order. As Weibo now is a five-man group, they've got Dove back. They don't spot him out, so they're like, okay, he's here. But one Nexus turret is going to go down thanks to the Baron Vidyas. Dub now hitting for an angle, but no flash to get in quickly as Tarsa thinking about it too. There, the flash from the Shy. He ain't having none of it. Light takes him out and straight away in a 5 4 yet again as Hexac Automated takes on the oh, Shy. Arne. He'll be taken first as Tarsa's up next. And you called it, Arn, as he flashes forward. Why is KM? There we go, the most we've seen out of the man is Arn. He's chasing them up, but his ult, he's already been burnt out of the way. Weibo are running for their life, but against the Lulu, look at the speed machine running through. It is the fast and the furious bottom lane that gets yet another. This is the turning point for IG. There's no one's there. Dove now responding to him, but as they respond to him, IG are just going to lose this turret anyway. Level 16, the shy on this crocodile I and mean, you need at least two people from the side of IG to deal with uh, we we're in 13.3 is oh, Gideon Gideon's sneaky. angle Ooh, sneaky monkey okay spin monkey spin second time around though he won't get a chance of culling helps take him out look at Shadow on the side though scatter the week on wires cam and Casta. you absolute beauty Dove flashes away as the hook shot gets him through or rather the shuriken flip but the whole team's dead on oh, dead that 80 carry you want to see die kitty well, Arn is in the graveyard. Dove can't do a thing. He needs to fly to wherever Dove's come from. As IG are going to be obliterated. As Shy has cared not. He's refused to elaborate. And much like Weibo Gaming, they have sat on top in their mighty throne. This top four team continues to be top tier. And IG have a lot of thinking to do. A lot of work before they can get up to their caliber. A beautiful 2-0 series closing out for Wave War and the Shy has finally taught Wise KM on why he is the staple of LPL and his Renekton and Nara of course have been just such a pleasure to watch when it comes to laning phase. I believe Kasa also ended 7 and 1 on that by having a huge uh, impact in the early and in these team fights. I mean just extremely yep. well played 